Hey everybody, good day, Ethan Poltrack here on this uh, May 6, 2013 day. Um, this is a quick video, I'm going to try to be as fast as possible. Um, I don't script anything out, I totally cold shoot it, so you have to bear with me. Um, this is um, about traffic, okay? We all hear about soul emails, and every time we go to our inbox, it's usually bomb rated with marketing offers especially if we're in the uh, internet marketing niche market work from home okay and a lot of these sources like russellwood.com and, and a couple of these places they'll provide us a list of uh, solo vendors but as you are, are aware especially if you don't create any unique pages of your own promoting the same URLs it, it, it becomes very um, outdated fast um, in other words a lot most of the um, solo list providers will deny promoting your web page only because their list has repeatedly see it said seen the same offer and you get to a point where people just start to get tired of it and they'll, they'll unsubscribe so they're just keeping themselves a good quality list when they deny your um, when they won't take your page but it doesn't don't take any feelings from it um, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can go out and find your own solo email providers um, and other averting advertising avenues as well and so we're here at Google our famous Google and we're gonna go to the Google keyword tool here so I'm gonna type in keyword tool and uh, it's usually the very first book, first one. Now here's something that a lot of marketers, in fact, just about all of them don't tell you about, but it's uh, very important, is when you're performing your searches, if you come over here to the left-hand side, you'll see this, sorry, this part of it's cut off. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. I don't, oh, look at that. Does it move the whole thing? It moves the whole thing. But you have match types and by default the broad is checked and what that means if you type um say um um how to make money on line it's gonna take all those words and mix them all up in all the different possibilities so your search volume is gonna be a lot higher what I personally do and it gives me great results is I uncheck this box and I check the exact so that means Google's only going to give me the numbers to this exact phrase. So this is what people have to type in order for to get the numbers. So all right, we'll go down here do their little caption. Google, I don't know if that's a 1 or an i or an l. I don't know. All right, let's see. We good? We're good to go. Okay, so you come down here and you say okay how to make money online okay local within my country I'm getting 27,000 searches 60,000 on a global market okay here's a bunch of various other keywords that I can search now to make it worth your time this isn't bad I try to find stuff um, 30,000 and above but to be honest I've contacted I've searched terms that only get 5,000 and I get a good response um, uh, on this strategy but but okay so here we go so I take this keyword that gets 27,000 local searches okay and I open myself another browser go to Google's homepage again and then I put in that keyword that gets 27,000 and I search now I stay away from these because these are paid ads they really do me no good here but I come down here, and this is a YouTube, this wouldn't have one, this wouldn't have one. ABC News, you know, but what you do, you come down to each of these sites, okay, and you go to them. Uh-oh, I guess, am I running out of time? No. You go to them, and you scroll down to the bottom of the page. You can look up here, look around, but usually at the bottom of the page, somewhere around... you what you're doing is you're looking for um something that says like advertising or uh, 
like here about advertising see how they have an advertising link down here in the bottom this is their footer okay click on that advertising link there might be other possible terms uh, the marketer will use like um, work with us or um, what's the one I'm thinking of um, partnerships stuff like that but here here now this is going to be paid advertising okay but you could find Welcome to Disney's Media Kit. Advertising properties, including Disney. Okay, so you can find out different ones. Standard ads, rich media, mobile. Okay, so they have a, a selection of, of different ways. Now, what this means is you can contact them, and they will put an ad on one of these websites. Um, I personally look for um, people who will send out a sole ad. So, you know, and, and be honest, ABC, that they, they, they would cost you quite a bit to um send to their list um so I and I will just keep going down down the thing we'll try this this result now it takes time okay but I tell you it's worth it I don't care if it takes you two days to find a site you know all, to be honest you really only need around three four good email solo providers and you can you can have yourself a three four thousand dollar monthly income, um, because each week you could send out a, an ad to a different each um, guy will send out an ad, you know once a month. So this has advertising on it. So I would go check that out, see what he's got here, what kind of advertising they do. So you see those banners here. I can get a banner placed on this site if I wanted to. Um, and you look around, and you can always contact them. Take the time, spend an email, send an email, and say, "Dear such and such, I, I am an online marketer. I am. I have a product that might be interested in your list. Are you willing to uh, do a sole email? You know, and, and ask certain questions, screening questions." You know, you could really do a uh, a YouTube search or another Google search for um, you know, and you can get get yourself an email template to send out to these people. Um, and what I should do, I should write one and provide you one. Um, but this is this is stuff that you could do now to give you. Here's a cool little trick. You know, bef this is this is part of the screening process. So suppose I found. This, this guy and maybe I wanted to possibly try a banner on his site or um, or send an email to his list you know if I was in the internet marketing and most of these people were in the internet marketing you know I, I would try it and the first thing I would do though first before I go and try it is I would take this address and I would go to I would go to Alexa we're gonna end up cutting this video a little short but you get the general idea what we're doing here it, and, and you pick various search terms so you you go through the first two or three pages contact every person okay find yourself a different keyword Make money online. Look at that gets 40,000 searches, 110 global. Put that into the Google bar. Go down, contact these. Go to the bottom of the, the website, usually in the footer, and look for that link that says advertise or work with us, partnership, something. But anyway, I go to Alexa. I put in the site, and I want to make sure, you know, if these numbers here, this is like in the U.S., you know, my um, standards are this number here has to be under um, um, between 150,000. I 100,000 or 50,000. I like 50,000 and under. Obviously, 6,000 is under, so I would go with it. On a worldwide market, I I stay under 200. This is obviously 13,000. So this is a very good site. This site gets a mess load of traffic. Okay. So it might be worth to uh, throw it if you have an ad. Something else too is is understand the demographics. 
something too. Also, Alexa will tell you all about the demographics of this site. Um, you find out the you know that the average age and where they're from, um, what they do, and you um, if your offer will fit these demographics, then um, then go ahead and give it a try. You know, and that's how you find yourself. And again, it, like with everything else, it takes testing. You know, the first company that you set an ad up or get to, you might not get the huge results that you want. So you might have to find somebody else. So you keep doing it. But the beauty of it is all you need is a couple of these. You know, all you need is one good one, really. You know, you have yourself somebody that's got themselves a list of thirty or 40,000 people. Okay, and once a month they send out a custom email with just your link in it to their list. You could do some serious damage there to your accounts. Um, it, and it just takes testing. It just goes through um, and find the one that works. So that's it with this video. This is how to find yourself solo providers. Um, this guy you can't even see in the bottom of his uh, stuff. Sometimes they're up top, but oops, I closed it out. So, I mean, you can come up with all different terms. So now I would go down the organic results, entrepreneurs, uh, they have an advertiser, but these are very broad um, people, Fox News, you know, I believe they have one. So it takes time, it's, um, I'm not going to lie to you, you could spend hours, days finding yourself some providers but there's a this is how you do it okay so that's it please feel free to uh comment below let me know what you think and if you have any suggestions i would love to hear from you so would the other readers and um everybody have a great day bye for now